All right, what's going on, dudes? Welcome back to another episode of Ultra Modded Survival. Since we last left off, I put together all the resources we need to craft three electric furnaces. So let me toss those resources on into the crafting terminal and search for an electric furnace. And boom, and boom, and we should be able to grab three of them. Good to go. All right, so let's wire them up. I guess we'll put them right above the other stuff that we have over here. Why not do that? And I have to be really careful with this thing not to end up mining out everything else that I have here. So, okay, and put it there, there, and there. All right, and then run around, take advantage of our, our little door here. Yeah, not bad, not bad. And okay, so I just need to actually wire up one more copper cable and then I think we'll be good to go. And I think I can, I can access it from the back. Thank you very much. Okay, copper cable. I have six more, and all I need is one. Boom, and boom. Okay, so that should be all powered, I think. Can throw some, I don't know, let's throw something in it and, uh, and see how it works. See if it's any good. Close that so what do we want to try smelting? And I think this is... It's supposed to be like 20% faster than the iron furnace, which the iron furnace is like 20% faster than the than the regular furnace. So it's a little bit more than 40% faster and we don't have to put fuel in it. So, so much for our huge supply of coal, I, I suppose. Um, so I don't know if we wanted to grab some more, I guess um, we haven't even put our charcoal to use yet, have we? Uh, let me grab that out of there. And we had some more sitting around still in the furnaces. So let me grab those. All right. And yeah, let's um let's start making some more steel because that's something we're gonna need anyway. So iron. Um so it takes four per so we're gonna be able to make a little bit less than a full stack of iron. All right. So why don't we um, go ahead and just toss a full stack in there and just get it running. Cool stuff. Four charcoal oh, per piece of steel. It's a pain, it really is. And then two steel per compressed steel and, and yeah, you know, all that, all that good stuff. But in the meantime, let's see, is there anything that we can smelt that uh, is not better suited for a macerator slash... Um, our macerator actually has stuff in it, I think. Let's see, macerator. No, it doesn't. Um, <laughs> did I already take care of that, the dust stuff? I can't remember if I had another batch of dust going. Hey, little foot, careful, bud. Careful, dude. Keep sticking your head in the furnaces, and I don't understand why. <laughs> oh, well. So, let's see. Um, I don't know, let's just, we'll just do a test with iron. It's not like we're hurting, or we can do a test on, on gold. It's not like we're hurting on gold at all. So one gold ore, let's see how fast this works. Okay, throw this on in there and, oh, that's going quick. <laughs> that's going real quick. Awesome. Okay, well, that works. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I hope I'm not like overloading the thermal generator. What I feel like I'm doing here is, you know, when you have just, you, you see images of just surge protectors plugged into more surge protectors, plugged into extension cords, plugged into, I feel like I'm doing that right here. <laughs> it feels a little bit, uh, a little bit sketchy, but I don't know. Hopefully nothing crashes and burns. Um, let's see, ingots. Ingot wise, how are we doing? Um, is there anything that we need? I mean, we can start, let's try to make the, um, the oxygen compressor. Compressor, with Galactocraft, oxygen, oxygen compressor, oxygen decompressor. Where is the oxygen compressor? Right there. And that requires, okay, four compressed steel. So eight, eight ingots, um, uh, 16 ingots, 18 ingots requires at least 18 at least 18 steel ingots um oh i can i can deconstruct some more let's see uh, i can deconstruct that and i can also deconstruct or uncraft i should say because i have 56 levels yes please let's grab it all um boom and uncraft you as well cool that'll give me six more which brings our total to Nine, and then how are we doing over here? Probably just taking forever, aren't we? We have two so far. 
oh, it's gonna be a fun process getting all this steel and we need uh, like at least 20. Hold on, let me keep checking the recipe. Oxygen compressor. Okay, so we need, okay. It's just, it's just uh, 18 steel that we need. So I guess, I mean, I guess it's not, it's not too bad. We just need steel for every, we literally need steel for everything. Um, how about the NASA workbench is another thing we need to make. NASA workbench, and it looks, that looks freaking cool, doesn't it? That looks so cool. It's got a bunch of like robot arms and stuff. Um, I mean, maybe we want to make that first since we have enough steel to do it, and then we can just wait for the rest to smelt. And, uh, and yeah, so let's see. Advanced wafer, how do we make you? Okay, we need a, a redstone repeater, a silicon, redstone, and a diamond. So redstone repeater, we have one of those. We need a redstone. I keep forgetting to shift right click. And then we need silicon shift. Oops, 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 didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to do that. Shift right click. There we go. And diamond. Oh, we still need to use the gravity gun. Totally forgot about that. Can't forget the gravity gun. That's super important. We made it with our nether star and everything. All right, circuit fabricator. Let's do that and that and that and that and do your thing, do your thing. Give me an advanced wafer. All right, cool, cool, cool. Let me take a sip of my juice. Delicious and nutritious or something. Okay, advanced wafer. Cool, and we have the steel ingots that we need, and I just want to make the NASA workbench because it looks freaking cool, doesn't it? It looks cool. Okay, so um, let's see, steel, we need eight of them, Two, six, seven, eight, and let's get them going. Let's get them compressing. I still do need my coal. I still do need my coal. It's not a lost cause yet. It's still useful for certain things, don't want to use my charcoal because all the charcoal is going to making the steel because that process sucks. All right, there we go. And why you know uh, why you know smelt again? Hold on, what am I forgetting? Oh, there we go. There we go. It's just, huh? GUI isn't working. It's going now. Hmm. <laughs> no, I guess not. That's a bug. Okay, I was like, I'm pretty sure that's how I was making it go before, but for some reason it's not now. Um, just a bug. All right, not a big deal. Not a big deal. How are we doing on the steel production? Probably got like two more. No, oh, three more. Three more. So many. <laughs> We're just rolling in steel right now. All right. Okie dokie. There we go. And four. Thank you very much. I can't shift click out of there apparently. Whatever. And NASA workbench, I think we've got everything, right? NASA workbench, boom and boom, not quite. <laughs> Still need to throw in the compressed steel. What else do I need? Advanced wafer and a uh, workbench. I know I can make one of those, boom. Throw it on in there and make one of those. Throw it on in there and now I I think we are good to go. All right, NASA workbench looks kind of like a, a head crab a little bit. Um, where do we want to put this? I feel like we want to put it on a, a pedestal in the middle of a room or something like that, like right here, and just uh, dedicate a shrine to this amazing looking thing. I don't know. I feel like we should pro also probably have done that for the, uh, the, the whatchamacallit, the... Uh, some loud noises going on. I feel like we should also have done that for the uh, the tinker table, but I don't know. I don't know. We could make a we could make a room that's dedicated to uh, to those magical magical things as well. I, I don't know because this room. Let's be honest. This room is getting a little bit tight. Um, we could expand it out. That might be something worth doing. Let's expand this room outward a little bit. We're gonna end up digging into the into the house, but we can uh, we can figure out a workaround or something. All right, let's figure out a workaround here so that it still looks aesthetically pleasing at least a little bit. Okay. Oh no 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 no! That's probably not good. I don't I don't think that's good. That's not good for my blaze health. <laughs> All right. Uh, can I can I just get rid of this flood real quick? Ow 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 ow! Can I just get out of here, please? Thank you. 
I'm a blaze man. I'm not meant for this. I'm not. I'm not meant for this sort of treatment. Okay. All right. I'm just gonna plug up. I, and this waterfall. I mean, it's nice and all, but I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna plug it up. Okay. Much better. All right. Cool. And see you later, water. Okay. Come on. Go away already. Cool. 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 Okay, that frees up a little bit more room. Let's see. How much space can we give ourselves here? We can back it up a little bit. I just don't want it to seem like, I don't know, super out of place. Whatever. Okay, I guess we'll do that. And that. And that. Boom, boom, boom. Take out all the dirt here. It's going to look like there's an apparent box. Um, that I'm, I built a room over here, but oh well, it is what it is. Hopefully I have enough smooth stone to, to be able to accomplish this. It's gonna be tight, but I think we will be good. All right, and then we'll just have to sort of patch up the outside so it doesn't look too weird. All right, there we are. Cool, cool. So uh, let's put down like the NASA workbench right there. And uh, apparently I don't know how to do whatever this thing requires <laughs> to be placed down. Let me look on the wiki real quick because it's not letting me place it down on, on just the stone. Unless it needs like a bigger, it might need just a, like a, a bigger area, but I'll find out. Be right back. So this is a little bit deceiving, the thing that I have in my hand because, or... Ha, that I have in my tentacle that you can't see because I'm currently a blaze man. But but this thing, it's it's four blocks high, so it's not gonna fit in in here. I didn't realize that. So oh well. I mean it, it can't have hurt to to have expanded this anyway. Um, hmm. Well, I I don't know. We use the NASA workbench to make the rocket, and as far as I know, that's about it for this point, uh, at least. So let me, uh, we'll place it outside. I don't know, we can place it next to a, a launch pad or something. We could set up a, a launch pad out here if we wanted to. That could be kind of cool. Just grab some cobblestone because cobblestone, cobblestone, a launch pad doesn't need to be pretty, right? Um, we need to actually make like the launch pad material as well, but uh, a launch, la mm, I know how to spell launch. Uh, rocket launch pad, how is that made? Compressed iron? Oh, we could do that. Um, yeah, we could definitely do that. And I think that we only need a three by three area. Oh, why don't we just, let's make a, uh, a launcher pad right now. Let's do it. Let us do it, let's do it, do it, do it. Iron, uh, assuming we still have enough. So let's see, iron block. Um, let's just make a few of those, one, two, three. And then it is just one, two, three. Two and three and boom. Okay. Well, uh, oh, no, no, no. It's the compressed iron, so we need six. Iron and one, two, three. Okay, there we go. Toss that on into the steel compressor thing of a new hicker. Boom, throw in a piece of charcoal. And oh, the GUI is working now. I don't know why it wasn't working either, but, or earlier, but whatever. Okay, cool. And uh, we will be there in just a moment. We can put down a launch pad, put down a, a NASA workbench next to it. It'll be, uh, it'll be pretty cool. It'll be pretty cool. Just grab a bit of cobblestone so that we can actually make our launch pad. And my inventory is totally cluttered, but not to worry. Okay. All right. How are we doing? And boom. Cool. There we go. We're going to have a rocket launch pad, and it's going to be the best. Okay. And throw that down, and throw that down, and boom, rocket launch pad. I believe that's all we need. Okay, and let's uh, let's just do it out. Uh, yeah, let's just do it out on the uh, the river over here, right? Uh, like right here. This could be a great place to to launch a rocket. Totally unobstructed view of the sky, and it's just right down below our place. Or we could do it here. Hmm, but it's more shallow. It's kind of more shallow over here. I, I don't know. I don't know. It's all about the aesthetics. So now that I'm 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 kind of near water, so I'm just gonna switch to being a bat for the moment while I might be touching the uh, the water. Okay, so let's see. Let's bring out the launch pad over here. 
hopefully <laughs> hopefully we don't like crash into a, a cliff or something on the way up when we finally end up launching this thing. I guess we'll find out. Oh well. Um, you know, it can't be too big of a failure. Or can it? It probably can. When you're dealing with rockets, it probably can be like a huge, huge failure if you don't do it properly, let's be honest. Okay, so I guess this is going to be our launch pad. Let's uh, put it down proudly. Woo! There we go. Rocket launch pad from Galacticraft. Woohoo! And then we'll put down our NASA workbench like over here or something like that. Right here. And then put it in the middle. Woohoo! All right, sweet. Look at this thing. Look at this fancy machine. That's awesome. And then let's see, yeah. So this is how we make a rocket. That's it, it's for rockets. Cool. So we put it in the right spot next to our launch pad. And all we need is like 50,000 pieces of steel and we'll have a, a rocket. Just need a lot, of, a lot of steel. A lot, a lot of steel. Like lots, lots of it, hold on. Uh, tier. One rocket. Where are you? Tier one rocket. Tier one rocket. This is, uh, yeah, that every single one requires two compressed steel and bronze and aluminum. And they, they are compressed themselves. And then what about this? That requires the more for that. Uh, it's lots, lots of resources, lots of live streams. Lots of live streams will be had in an effort to collect lots and lots of steel. Oh boy. I may as well throw some more iron into the macerator or something. Uh, why am I searching macerator? I'm searching iron. Iron, iron, iron. All we, actually, we only want to throw in 32 at a time because it's going to create 64 dust. So macerator and boom, throw that in. It might even be helpful to make more macerators. I don't know. It's whatever. Okay, back into blaze form. Oh, let's check out how close we are to the, uh, the Big Bertha as well. So... Big Bertha, um, boom and boom. How close are we? So we need, um, so we have the moth, the jumpy bug, Kraken tooth, nightmare. I could have sworn we had others. No, we don't have that. We don't have the green goo and we, uh, hold on, remind me. Uh, and we don't have the Emperor Scorpion. Oh, we can get the Emperor Scorpion scale real quickly. Yeah, because uh, we have the spawn egg for it, so. Emperor Scorpion, we have four of them. I could have probably just killed one back in the danger dimension, but uh, there were like 50 of them rather than me just being able to fight one at a time. So, you know, you know, we, we coup, we coup. So, uh, yeah, oh, I also need to, I need to use my gravity gun, man. I keep forgetting to do that. Let's, uh, what do we want to use it on? What do we want to, let's use it on a sheep or something. It'll be great. Okay, so, hi, who's going to be my poor unsuspect? Ooh, let's try it on the Emperor Scorpion. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. All right, poor Emperor Scorpion. He's going to have a bad day. He's going to have a real, real nasty day. Um, I kind of want to spawn him away from, from sheep just so that we should let's spawn him on Boss Island. Yeah, here we go. You remember Boss Island? This is where we fought the jumpy bugs, and it was an all-around uh, great time. Okay. Hi, mister. Oh, God, that knocked back. That knocked back, and I'm in the water. Thank you. I like being a blaze man. All right, let's, uh, let's see if we can... Oh, I can shoot him back from all the way over here. Uh, can I grab him? Can I grab him? And... God dang it. And maybe I can shoot... Can I shoot a scorpion at the Emperor Scorpion? Let's see if this works. And ow. Is he actually hitting me? Ow. Oh, I thought maybe I could... Okay, you know, you're going to need to not... You're going to need to not... Uh, ow, God, he has some serious armor or something. Yes, he does. Only takes nine damage a hit. Oh, God. And you spawn little scorpions on your behalf to fight your own battles. Come on, man. Come on, man. Do your own work. Do your own work. Stop going invulnerable after I shoot you with an arrow. It's real obnoxious when mobs do that nowadays. I don't appreciate it at all. If you could stop, I would... Uh, I would respect you much more. Stop the invulnerability. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to, I guess, work him down slowly but surely. Ow. God. That stinger. That poison stinger. Right, these guys are so annoying. <laughs> Little mini scorpion dude. Stop. Go away. I don't like you. I don't like you at all. You're obnoxious. And... Okay. Come on. 14 damage. 
I need to, I don't know if headshots are doing more damage or something. There we go. There we go. All right, here we go. God dang it. The scorpions are killing my sheep. Oh my God. You're, they are getting rid of my wool supply and I don't, I don't appreciate it in any way, shape or form. It's not nice. It's not nice at all. Please stop. Please stop doing that. Please stop doing that. I'm going to take, I'm going to take out all your scorpions just for you being rude and doing that. Okay. You know what? That's not nice at all. Let me just, let me just, okay. Is that uranium that's dropping? If that's uranium that's dropping, I, I might be able to forgive you. Because uranium is a, a good, a real good thing, actually. I do, I do like it. Okay, god damn it. Stupid scorpions. God dang it, I'm going to have so much experience after this, though. Oh god. Alright, get out of here. Get out of here. And boom. And knock him back into there. Boom. Ugh. So many of them. <laughs> Go away! Go away! Go away! Give me more titanium. I don't. I don't know. Whatever you're gonna do. Ow! I'm a blaze man. I'm not meant for water. Please, please stop knocking me into water. It'd be appreciated. Ay ay ay. Okay. I'll just keep shooting you. Shoot you and shoot you and the emperor. Emperor, no! Do not kill my sheep! You son of a son of a bitch! You do not kill my sheep. I'm gonna go Super Saiyan on this, dude. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go Super Saiyan on them all. Yeah, that's what's gonna happen when you mess with my sheep. My sheep are for me to torment and me to torment alone. Uh-huh. That's what I, yeah, you get blown up by a creeper. That's how it works. That's how it works when you go after my sheeples. Okay. You don't mess with my sheeples. They are my sheeples. They're not your sheeples, they are my sheeples. And, uh, okay, yeah, feel free. Zombies, thank you for working as Patsy. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, cool. And continue to take him out. He's down to low health. He's down to low health. Hoot! Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. We're gonna have to collect all data experience. Ooh, we got a heart canister from that. I don't even know how we got a heart canister from that. Okay, just a couple more hits. Just a couple more hits. We'll be there. Okay, and, and done. All right. Oh, he just dropped another ultimate bow. I was all worried about how we're gonna replace that. Well, we actually have a ton of resources, so I wasn't really all that worried, but you know. All right, cool. So I need to throw out some stuff. Hey, 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 hey. I gotta take these guys out before I can even rest for just a second. <laughs> so obnoxious. Okay, lots and lots of experience. I guess I can grab some wool as well. Anything I don't need in here. Seeds, barley seeds, go away. Go away. Grab some wheat. All right, all right, cool. Well, that was uh, quite the battle, quite the battle. Let me collect experience, of which I guess, uh, I guess there's not as much as I had actually expected. I don't know why the scorpions sound like birds when you kill them, but uh, they do. So, that's just how they operate, I guess. All right, lots and lots of experience balls. Woo. And some uranium and some titanium and some see you later, bud. Uh, okay, and yeah, check it out. Another ultimate bow. Thank you for that. I guess that makes it worthwhile. And then we got the uh, the scorpion scale, which so we have, we have a, a water dragon and the, I don't know what the green goo comes from. I'm going to have to look that up. Okay, 51, 52. If I didn't already have 50 levels, I would be getting much more out of this, but oh well. Okay. All right. Cool, cool. So uh, anyway, let's head head on back. That was a job well done, I think. Although, you know, we could always just uh, pick up a zombie and be like, yo, sup? See you later. Oh, I thought maybe I could shoot him straight up in the air. Whee! Oh, come on. You can do better than that. Whee! Gosh darn it. How do I get you to go flying? Boosh! Can I catch you back? Can I catch you back? Uh, God dang it. Okay, you know what I need to do? Oh, can I? What happens if I uh, launch a block at you? I haven't tried this yet. It didn't work. You deflected. They have shields. They have block deflection shields. All right, we're out of here. Grab it again. Not doing the work I thought you'd do. Come on, man. Get, uh, get up to the, the level I, I thought you were going to be at, man. You're letting me down. Oh, well. I guess these things do happen. Anyway. All right. So head back home real quick with our newfound uranium and titanium. And we can check on how the Mesa Raider is doing and stuff. And 
Yeah, how's our steel? How's our steel going? Actually, probably have like ten steel ingots. Eleven. Actually, our charcoal ran out. That's a problem. We're gonna have to fetch another full stack of charcoal. I'm gonna have to get more wood as well. Oh, it's just a mess. Thank you. Another heart canister. Emperor scorpion. So green goo. And then, do we have a, a water dragon? Was the other thing we do? Oh, we have a water dragon. Okay, cool. That's another thing we can uh, we can grab in order to get closer to Big Bertha. And then I suppose the rest of the stuff. We can just throw on back into there. How are we doing? Oh, our armor. Our poor ultimate armor is actually being worn out. That's a bummer. Um, okay, that's what a water dragon looks like. It's interesting. Kind of looks like uh, Lapras combined with Gyarados from Pokemon. I don't know. Or Gyarados, however you pronounce it. And 52 crushed iron ore. Cool. Um, all right. So, uh, yeah, let's... <laughs> Let's do that stuff or something. I I don't know. At least we have more steel. So or did I grab? Did I even grab the steel out of there? One sec. One sec. Uh, I did not. I did not. Let me grab some more coal. Charcoal full stack. Throw some steel back in there. Get the charcoal going once again. And there we go. <laughs> it's gonna get us uh, 16 more pieces. Woo! -hoo. All right, and then, oh, we can uh, we can smelt some more iron as well. We can grab what's in here and toss it in the electric furnace, and that'll smelt real quickly. Awesome. Cool stuff. Well, uh, you know what? I think I might call this episode here, but uh, hopefully you've enjoyed. If you have, a rating would be much appreciated. Other than that, thank you very much for watching, and next time we will do more stuff. Don't know exactly what that's going to be, but you'll find out. All right, see you later.